While members of the public continue to scrutinize the Mobile Police body camera policy, city administrators are facing the issues head on. WKRD News 5's Asher Red joins us now in the studio. And Asher, a new policy is in place to hold officers and their supervisors accountable. Yeah, and the buck stops with Robert Lasky. He's the city's new executive director of public safety who is hoping to act on the public's calls for transparency and accountability within the ranks of the Mobile Police Department. I have now asked for every uh, use of force report to be sent to my office. Executive Director of Public Safety Robert Lasky started the new policy yesterday that would require him to view any relevant body camera footage any time a use of force report is filed. I will be viewing as many of those body cams personally as I can uh, until we get to the bottom and figure out what's going on and how to improve everything. He will then determine if the force was appropriate and if the officer used proper de-escalation techniques. Before the policy was put in place, supervisors were tasked with reviewing the reports. But now Lasky says he will also be reviewing the reports along with the supervisors. If there's something on those videos that should have been reported or should have been acted upon, it's not. And it's the supervisors that are going to be held accountable. After four deadly counters with the Mobile Police Department this year, Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson has requested a review of the police department's policies, and he's also issued a suspension on the police department's use of pre-dawn raids until that review is made available to the public. Now, Councilman Corey Penn is taking it a step further, hoping to draft an ordinance that would ban MPD's use of pre-dawn raids and no-knock warrants for good. Live in the studio this evening, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.